Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Mark Sign and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing The Flash, Season 4, Episode 21. I thought it was 20, so I must have doubled a number somewhere. But this is um, The Flash, an episode is called Harry and the Harrisons. So we start off with Iris is doing research on DeVoe because she couldn't sleep. And she's basically writing a piece about him to warn the city about him. Then Team Flash discussed DeVoe's potential plan of what he might do. That's put the devices on satellites to sort of start matter and make everyone a dumb dumb. And then we have Wells and Cisco talk, and basically he wants um, the Wells the uh, I guess the other uh, Earths Wellses to help him. Um, so they talk to, I guess, the spokesperson for the Wells, and he just kind of dismisses Cisco completely and basically calls him a dumb dumb, we're not going to help, and goodbye. And uh, then Cisco suggests another council. Then Joe talks to Caitlin and about like finding a different way to uh, get to Killer Frost to bring her back. And then that gave her an idea to go about a different way and to use Amunet to uh, get rid of DeVoe because her shards are not by machines or anything. It's actually her. So the ability will kind of cancel out. And then uh, and then the lackey, the uh, Norvark guy... Says he hasn't seen her in months. Then we have Team Flash um, try to find her by using her real name and her previous addresses. And then uh, Barry talks to Iris about the article and tells her to just kind of hold off on that. And she agrees. And then Cisco talks to the other uh, Wellses that were also kicked off of the actual official. <laughs> council and basically they agreed to help then Wes and Caitlin uh, check out the place and find a gambling area and find Amunet and then the flash shows up and she fires at them but she he stops her and says like, look we just need your help <laughs> and then I take flash break um, breathes Amunet, uh, Amunet about everything that's happening she agrees to help uh but she wants uh, more shards. And then we have Caitlyn talk to her privately. And she will get the splicer that basically the splicer split Killer Frost and Caitlyn's personality. So that way they could just uh, tap into each other and not just take over. And she'll do it. Uh, if she gets it, she'll, Killer Frost will do a job for her. And then it turns out it's gone. But they will cover it with... Uh, um, when everyone's done. So basically they go to get the on um, the shards. The shards are missing. And it turns out that the Norvark or Snake Eye, whoever, took it. And then we have uh, the Wellses. They all talk. And they see that he um, is trying to get angry. But that actually is a good thing. Because it's actually venting his feelings and stuff. So they leave. And basically... Uh, Wells gets pissed and at Cisco and everybody and just storms off. Then Norvok, Novok, uh, stole everything and Aminet is pissed about it. Then Wes calls out Caitlin when she gets furious as well. And then she goes clean to the team and then she storms off. Then Wells is mad and then, uh, Genuinely sorry about the time that he wasted, and Cisco uh, saw that and talks to him, and basically says that you need to be uh, more uh, emotionally um, aware and like be genuine with your feelings and actually talk about your feelings rather than just kind of just brush it off. And then we have Iris um, finish the article, but Barry's worried about it, and basically Iris is like, "You have final say on it." Because it's like talking about the team and all this other stuff. And they have Aminette talks to Caitlin. And it turns out the splicer actually didn't work. It was like a placebo effect. But she still got the desired results that she wanted. 
So uh, then she, then Aminette figures out where Norfolk is, uh, Snake Eye is, and it turns out he is actually doing a deal with some mobsters with the shards. And then, uh, then they tell Team Flash about him. And so uh, she wants to off him, but they say no. She says, well, blood's hard to get off mentally anyway, so we'll just go with it. <laughs> that was my horrible Timbo British accent. I'm sorry. And so they go to, um, so they get there. And then we have the fight scenes happening. And then we have Barry gets uh, sprayed with venom. And so he's kind of out for a second. Then Caitlin um, and Joe versus the mob people. Uh, they had to take cover, and then we have Iris uh, tells Barry to face through the Venom, which he does. Then Caitlin disarms the monsters by basically aiming the cold gun up at the top and creating icicles. And then Joe uses his gun to crack it and to knock out the monsters, which was awesome, actually. And so, um, Barry faces through the Venom. Then we have Amunet off the snake from the guy's I, and then the guy leaves, then she leaves, but before she does, she gives uh, Caitlin a shard um, device that will give someone a concussion, basically. <laughs> so then Caitlin says sorry to the team after she leaves, and then, um, I mean, at least, then Wells helps out, basically says that the reason DeVoe hasn't done anything is because something bad has happened, that probably means that his wife is gone. And so, uh, so he actually brought up a really interesting point and, and put himself into his uh, devote shoes. Then Barry talks to Iris and tells her to publish the article after they talk to the team. And then Caitlin and Joe go, get the, go to get coffee. And then Iris... This article goes viral, and everyone is helping out. Central City wants to help the Flash, and that was the end of the episode. And did y'all vote today? I did. So anyway, um, I thought it was actually a pretty decent episode. I'll probably give this uh, a plus because I like everyone's working together, and they actually are bargaining for help for Immunet. And of course, she's going to be the way she is. Like that was expected for the end result to happen like that. That was obvious. But I do like how everyone's starting to work together. They're trying to achieve a common goal. And the only thing is like I we know I think I know that Killer Frost is gonna come back sometime. We just don't know when. But I, f- I don't know whether they're just vesting so much in that or something big's gonna happen for next season. I don't know. But other than that, I thought it was a really good episode and that Wells is actually starting to get in touch with his emotions. I feel like that's a good thing. And, um, other than that, I, I, was just, I just thought it was a pretty good episode. I just, I enjoyed it. So, <laughs> anyway, that's what I'm doing for this video. So if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below, tell me what you think of the episode, do you agree or disagree? And then just like, comment, and subscribe. That'd be awesome. Bye, everybody.